They are a nice car. Isn't that what Uncle Norman used to buy his Trans Ams? Yeah. In Firebirds, right? The one yeah, that I remember it. It was. Yeah, I'm handy. We're here at Best Pro Shops. So. Hey guys, we're at Best Pro. Yeah, it just runs, all the blood runs down into the sink. Yeah. Let's talk about it. I need a net like this, Mom. It's a mesh net. First time ever here. Um, liking it. Let's go to the aquarium. See some monster largemouth bass. I have a big brook trout in there. Large mouth bass, a small mouth. 
couple gills. There's a pike back there. Oh, there's a crappie. Go there. Another big smallmouth. Large mouth over here. There's a big channel cat back there. Big channel cat. That's a master angler walleye right there. We got big, big perch down there. Big brown trout right there. I think so. Big brown trout right there. That's the bass pro. Big old tank. Bass pro shop. Hey guys, bass pro. Baby shad. Shiners. There's a pike rig. Different blades for spinner baits. Tungsten. There's the Markham underwater camera. Okay. There's the Aquaview 715 series. Yeah, 
Alright. 20 bucks to spend. Savage gear. Get a red eye Chad from Straight King. Some voices. Some fireworks. There they are right here. No voices though. I'll let you guys know when I find the savage gear. That's dirty fish all up there. There's some big light trout. Like sturgeon, and I can go hold the salmon, rum, musty, big old brown throat. So I don't want to bring it Let's pick up one of these. So we got the red eye shad and a jig. The twenty dollar challenge. Some rod things, buzz baits, buzz baits, buzz baits, shadow baits, buzz baits, spinner baits. Let's get a spinner bait. Let's do. Um, shall we do. That spinner bait? Yes, we should. There's poppers. And then there's lipless. Yeah, find the savage gear. I can't find what I'm looking for. What are you looking for? A duck. Is it a side duck? Yeah. I'll okay, take just a minute. I don't have any in stock. The Savage Gear Suicide Duck. Is that what a rat? I've got. I don't have a suicide rat either. I've got live target rats. Okay. Um, you're looking for a nice topwater bait for pike and musky, aren't you? Yeah. Um, no, I, don't, I know exactly. So I can order suicide ducks in, providing that my distribution center has stock in them, usually eight to ten business days. They're, they're one of the hottest lures. They took home a handful of awards at ICAST this year, and they, to get a hold of them, it's, uh, it's harder than usual to get hold of anything. So I've got the field mouse, 
uh, the different field mice and the larger field mice from uh, uh, from live target, but that's going to be it. But I know I know the the duck that you want, the four and a half inch duck and the six inch duck. Yeah. Do you have the uh, Spro BBZ rat? Spro BBZ rat. Um, Spro frogs. I don't think I have a Spro rat. I only have Spro frogs. Frogs, frogs, frogs. It's just gonna be spro frogs. Everything I have for rats is gonna be in that uh, just just from live target, unfortunately. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? No. Do you have any like Savage Gear like crankbaits or glide baits? I do know. I've got I've got a couple of swim baits um, over the musky aisle. Uh, I can show you what I do have from Savage Gear over the musky aisle. Okay. You want to take a little bit of a walk with me? I got no clue on what he's asking. So am I going to be on YouTube? Uh, if you're okay with being filmed, like. No, I do not give you consent. <laughs> you don't have to pay me for this, man. Do you know who I am? Come on. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Do you, what, do you, do you do a channel? Yeah. Okay. All right. Nice. So, can I make a suggestion to you? Yeah. First off, let me ask you, how many, how many subscribers do you have? I got 33. Okay. Just starting up. <laughs> All right. That's no. That's good. That's good. That's more than I would ever get probably in like ten years. Um, <laughs> what I could what I could suggest is if you go on Bass Pro Shop's website. It is a U.S. website, but we do have. It's called Bass Pro Shop One Source. If you have a blog, blog, or anything of the sort, if you want to write about anything outdoors, yeah, you can actually sign up. We will put a link on our website. What? I don't even know if I have a seven or seven and a half. I think I have eight five, eight six, eight six. These are gonna be trolling rods for one of the musky anglers. So seven six. Like I said, here's like six six medium heavy two piece. Might be a little short. You'd probably want to go actually a seven, at least a seven, seven and a half. Just for the longer backbone and. Just for the long, you're getting a longer backbone, and I mean you'll be able to chuck that thing a while and just just work with it around the boat too. So. Yeah. Um, but that that should do the trick. I kind of like medium heavy. Heavy is like... Well, because you can use medium heavy for pretty much anything. Yeah, for pike, everything else. It's still got some sensitivity to it, so you could troll for walleye with it as well, even if you wanted to. You've got a couple of options, whereas with a heavy, it's not going to be anywhere close to a sensitive. Um, it's going to be like strict musky. So, yeah. And with mus musky, it's kind of, it's, it's odd. The guys either, they're all in or they're all out on it. Like there's no real halfway in between. It's like you spend good money on a rod, you spend good money on a reel. You're investing a lot of money into baits with this stuff. Yeah. But you're looking for that pig of a trophy fish. That's what you want. So. To me, a rod's a rod. Speaking of a pig of a fish, I caught a 13 pound northern. Two weeks ago. Whereabouts? Kingston. Kingston. Kingston? How long was that guy? 42. 42? So one of, my, one of my very good friends, we went to school together. I'm originally from Northwestern Ontario, from Thunder Bay. And uh, my buddy Ryan, we worked together in an outdoor equipment company up there for about six years. He's, he's a very avid fisherman. I, I don't claim to be like anything over the top, but his, his forte is musky. That's on Lax Soul. That's 50, 52 inches. Tiger he, musky? Yeah, it is a beautiful fish. He fought with that thing for about a good 40 minutes. Here's a couple other lax sole musky. This was beginning of the season. And this is northern. There it is. 43 inch. I, I like uh. pike, but they're... Yeah, they're not good either. You're they taste amazing. out the bones yeah. more than eating fish. Oh, I know. You want us? If you want to eat a fish, eat walleye. Walleye is delicious. Walleye is best, Stick yeah. to it. That is the way to go. Honestly and true. Like I grew up with that. Like where, where I lived in Thunder Bay, um, less than 10 minutes from my house, I had a lake. Like pretty much stocked with walleye. Well, he caught just at the end of the season. He caught a what was it? A, the salmon. Oh, it's king salmon. Kings, yeah. Yeah. You get those. You get those on Lake Ontario. They're yeah. Big. Big king salmon. So it was a right at the end of the run too. Yeah. Big old 23 pound king. Oh, oh yeah, that thing is right at the end. Yeah. That's a big fish. That's and a, those are good smoke. Yeah. 
Oh, you I didn't think I'd like it. Smoker. I do brown brown chow, smoke brown chow. I live in Grimsby, and like you'll get. I don't do too many of them, but you want a season. It's a deep, like nothing too too big, but tossing the smoker for a couple of hours. Good to go. You gotta go to Wisconsin to get the big browns in uh, Milwaukee Harbor. Oh, you can actually if you you can you can get big browns like. In northwestern Ontario, you can go through the Sioux, Sioux Agawa area all the way up and around Thunder Bay, um, down to Su Duluth Superior, and then into Wisconsin. But that whole North Shore of Superior, yeah, you find Manitoulin. Manitoulin, Manitoulin yeah. Island's decent. If you go a little bit further north, if you want, there's, I mean, there's there's tons of inland lakes if you want to skip out around Superior, but. In between Thunder Bay to Winnipeg, like Lake of the Woods, phenomenal inland fishing in there. Um, Dryden, Dryden is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. They had the 2008 um, Bass, uh, the, uh, the Bassmasters like World Championships. Bassmaster Classic. Yeah, the classic. They had the last leg of that tournament for 2008 took place in Dryden on the lake in town, Wabagoon. Phenomenal fishing, there. absolutely phenomenal. There were a couple of guys who. Uh, they lost a couple, couple, couple of bass to a few muskie and some northern pike. They came up and chopped them as they were pulling them up. So muskie are known to do that. Oh yeah, well, they're, they're pigs, man. They just yeah. go after anything. It moves. If they can fit in their mouth, they're going to, or they'll at least try. Yeah. Um, is there anything else I can give you guys a hand with? No, oh, that was it. Is I'm there? Sure. Yeah. Is there like smaller, like swim baits, like the Savage Gear? Yeah. Uh, I don't have. I won't have anything from Savage Gear, but I can show you my other swim baits okay. for sure. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Next hello. Tiffany's out for the next hour or so. What's up? Disney guys here. Oh. Okay. So this is what I have for uh, for swim baits right now. I don't have a huge selection. Um, like the ZR9 swim baits, the minis with the uh, uh, with the lips, and then some of the storms like the kick and chops. That's that's pretty much all I've got right now. Yeah. So, what do you guys have in Kingston for a shop? Because I never frequented any. We of just them. got Canadian Tire. That's it, eh? Canadian Tire and uh, Bronson and Bronson. Bronson. But from, but Bronson and Bronson's more on the hunting. Hunting side, and they just kind of dabble in fishing. There's a few little. The other, the other thing I was gonna say, if you guys are ever looking for stuff, you know, you can call our store. We'll charge you shipping like via Canada Post, but. If you need baits, like we, we ship out a ton of stuff out of store. Even though we don't have a Canadian website, you can call us, we'll get you the Canadian retail price on it and drop it in the mail. We just ship it directly out of store. Or like the suicide ducks, if you ever want those, call us, name a number. My girl Susan, who works out of the back there, she works Monday to Friday, she can she can process your order over the phone, like via credit card or something. Oh. And we can get those. We can make sure you get some suicide ducks <laughs> yeah. if you're looking for them, because I know they are one of the hottest bait. I wish yeah. we could we could carry them, but see Canadian Tire doesn't carry them. I know both. Too expensive. But only you, bass bro. You know I mean we no. we do carry them. Us as a company, because we have 92 stores. Um, we try and find companies that are going to be able to meet our demands in terms of supply. That's the hardest thing. Savage Gear um, this year has kind of kicked, they've kicked things up for us, which is really, really nice because we're like, guys, we've got great products, but we need more of them. Like, yeah. It's not a bad thing. We're selling a ton of them. You know, we've got high volume, high traffic stores, yeah. mass amounts of people. I'm not going to lie, it's absolutely insane in here. It's usually like nuts because we're the only thing open in the peninsula. But um, yeah, they, they normally they try and build the stores in large apocalypse. It's like the store in Vaughn, in the, the Vaughn Mills location. I don't know if you've been there. Yeah. But like Mississauga. This is Vaughn the first Mills. Bass Pro I've been to. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, but that store pulls from like a population of like two and a half million people. Like through the GTA, like it's huge. Huh. Yeah. Is there one in Ottawa? No. No, there is not. That the was Cabela, so right? that was supposed to happen. Um, it did fall. It did fall through. Um, 
and uh, ended up Cabela's ended up uh, taking and opening a store there, and that was in Canada, so on the, on the far side of Ottawa. There, um, we backed out. So uh, I don't know the whole schematics of it, but I mean, our our owner now, Johnny Morris, is like he's the majority shareholder in Cabela's. I think he made like a five and a half billion dollar cash purchase. So Cabela's and Bass Pro are like. It's not anywhere close to finished yet. Wow. It's going to take a long time, probably. Uh, a very long time. There's a lot of political red tape with it. Yeah. So, uh, but you know, it's it's um, it's something that's kind of neat. Hopefully, I think I think a lot of people are, are hoping it's like, hey, if you guys amalgamate, maybe you can share technology, share products, things like that. That would be absolutely awesome. Um, We'll see how long that takes, though. Oh, yeah. So, it's not going to happen overnight. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to think. I think it was October last year. There were murmurs and talks about it. And then it finally went through, like, in the fall. It took, like, a year to kind of flash through. And if, you, if you read in the business news, like, Forbes is always covering it or any of the business places, like, business, like weekly business magazines, are usually, they kind of have their pulse on it because um, between the two companies would be one of, if not the biggest specialty sport retailer yeah, in the world so. because of, yeah. yeah. Now about sale, they have yeah. some fishing stuff too. Yeah, yeah, they do. Um, sale, I, I go to sale in Burlington every now and then, so they, they kind of carry, they carry everything. Um, I think they have a smaller, they definitely have a smaller fishing selection than us. Um, they definitely have a smaller hunting selection than Cabela's, so. Cabela's is more hunting, like your Bronson store, Bronson and Bronson store. We're more fishing. Yeah. So an amalgamation of those two companies are pretty... Sale is more camping, which yeah. is, believe it or not, probably the primary thing in Canada and with them being a Canadian-owned based company, um, that's kind of that's kind of the wheelhouse they, they, they need to be in. Like, they've got... I think they've got a really good grasp of things. Um, you know, they've got a lot of high-end specialty equipment, you know, like Salmon, Marmot, North Face, Arcteryx, Canada yeah. Goose. Like they deal with a lot of a lot of great brands. So, um, I don't know, sales sales a good store. I got I got no qualms with them. So, anything else you need? This is the first Bass Pro. I'm yeah. really impressed. We're just a toy store for big kids. That's all. We have. <laughs> That's all. It is. But see, with Dakota, it's like, oh, I need this rod. I need this lure. I'll go in and look at the. Lure. Oh, this one's pretty. And I'll buy it. <laughs> no, that's fair. That's fair. Like and I'm not, I'm not. But Dakota. That's, that's, that's how my wife picks wine. I like this bottle. Cool. Let's drink it. And Dakota says, uh, "Mom, it's not gonna catch a pretty fish, but my rainbow-colored okay. lure, it's it caught a big."